All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So Tony Pauline of the Pro Football Network has reported that the New York Jets have wide receiver from Arkansas, Traylon Burks, as their top rated wide receiver in this upcoming draft class. OK, I actually have the report pulled up here, but he goes on to address the disappointing combine numbers that Burks ended up putting up. And I think it's interesting. Okay, here's the report. Pro Football Network's Tony Pauline reports that Jets general manager Joe Douglas has been quote-unquote gushing about Arkansas wide receiver Traylon Burks. Pauline said that Burks, who's 6'2", 225, ran a 4 5 5 40 at the NFL Combine is the top wideout on the Jets draft board. Quote, whether or not Burks' subpar Combine performance changes that ranking remains to be seen. Not only did Burks test poorly, but he did not look good in position drills. So, it's interesting, okay? This entire situation with Traylon Burks and the New York Jets, I, I think we have to look at the facts. What do we know? We know we need help at wide receiver. We know we have two top 10 picks. We know Traylon Burks is projected to go anywhere from, I would say earliest eight to the Atlanta Falcons to I want to say 15 I really don't see a situation where Traylon Burks unless teams are totally totally bought in uh, to the combine numbers here and they are just jumping ship I don't see a situation in which Burks would fall to the middle rounds or anything like that based solely off the combine performance remember he could also make up those numbers at the pro day you know he can improve on his 40 it's not out of the realm of possibilities but it's it's similar to DK Metcalf and, and coincidentally you know two two wide receivers that are both physically imposing two wide receivers that both dominated the SEC West and projected top 10 picks they get to the combine put up some pretty disappointing numbers and all of a sudden the stock starts to fall and guys are getting a little weary and that's you know it's understandable and I, I guess really it comes down to how much weight how much value do you put into the combine performances do you put into the combine interviews and whatnot I, I think for me I don't like to take a guy's college career whether that's one season two three four years in some cases uh mold 10 20 30 plus games trash it over one bad day where that prospect isn't even playing the game of football he's physically testing and you know is the combine completely devalued in, in my opinion no it's not I, I i think it's more more so a tool in the toolbox of grading players uh i, I don't think it's the entire picture but i, I definitely feel like it's, it's a piece it's a piece of the puzzle but it's not the whole thing so that's how kind of how i'm viewing it and we've seen guys dominate the combine and do nothing in the nfl like john ross you know i, I think he actually his 40 time or his 40 record just got broke the other day and we've seen guys bomb the combine and then they show up to the NFL and they, they're they're great players like DK so it, it's not a perfect science it's not you know set in stone by any means but it's an intriguing situation because I do feel like Burks will really really help out this offense uh despite the combine numbers right I feel like he's an instant day one starter you can plug him on the outside you can use him on the inside he's a versatile playmaker he could be a you know just a, a dominant player with the football in his hands but also at the same time be a traditional possession wide receiver uh, I think he brings a lot of really really good traits obviously the years of production back at Arkansas this past season he had 66 receptions over 1100 receiving yards and 11 touchdowns he's a big bodied wide receiver so not only would he just be a instant upgrade at the pass catching aspect of wide receiver but also as a blocking wide receiver that is something that I feel like the Jets uh, when I'm when I'm looking at the outside I feel like as blockers we don't have a lot of size we don't have a lot of power Hour. Uh, I mean, we're looking at the roster right now. It's Denzel Mims. It's Elijah. It's Elijah Moore. It's Corey Davis. Uh, we don't really know. Is Denzel Mims even going to be on the roster next season? Is Braxton Berrios going to be brought back? He doesn't even line up outside. Ideally, I per personally, I feel like Elijah Moore can do a lot of damage in the slot, just working on the inside, uh, as opposed to being an outside guy. I think that versatility, that added versatility, just adds more to Moore's game. Uh, and, that, and that's always a plus, but I, I feel like if we can add another, a true wide receiver one, whether that's a Calvin Ridley, whether that's a Devontae Adams, a Chris Godwin, whoever it may be, a DK Metcalf trade, a Traylon Burks, somebody that we can line up on the outside, and now that player can, t can strike fear in minds of defensive coordinators, it will help open up opportunities for Elijah Moore underneath, and even Corey Davis one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. I mean, you can't double cover everybody, okay? That's just the bottom line, and 
Dobbins, you're now adding a young wide receiver that can grow with Zach Wilson, that can grow with Moore, that can grow with, you know, all of the young, not only just players like Michael Carter and whatnot, but the coaches as well. You know, Mike LaFleur entering his second year as OC, like a, a nice little Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase tandem, you know, just the, the ages link up. So I would love to be a fly on the wall in Joe Douglas's office, right? Picking his brain on all these wide receivers here because to report that Burks is the highest wide receiver on JD's board in a stacked wide receiver class, London, Olave, Garrett Wilson, tons of guys here. I mean, David, uh, Christian Watson, huge, huge riser, Jameson Williams, the list goes on and on. Pickens, Mechie, tons of good wideouts to have Burks as the number one guy and to use the word quote unquote gushing. That's not the same as saying, yeah, he's pretty good, or I guess he would fit. I like him. He's okay. Not the same thing. To me, that says that Joe Douglas loves this guy. But then, of course, Pauline goes on to add that, you know, it, it, things are subject to change now that these combine numbers are out. Okay, so how does Joe Douglas... Uh, and, and I mean, really, this is the question that all fans ask themselves. You know, how much how much weight do you put in the combine? How much weight do you put in these numbers? Uh, how much weight do you put on one day when you stack that up to not only just his pro days and individual workouts moving forward, but his entire college career? In my opinion, in my higher uh, hierarchy of of important. Uh, information that we can gather from these prospects the college tape in my opinion is number one uh, I think it's always going to be number one I, I have that higher than pro days I have that higher than combine I have it higher than tons of different things the college tape I, I think gives you the most data from these prospects now one more thing I did want to throw in there before I end the video here Traylon Burks has in fact met with the New York Jets okay now that doesn't come as some huge surprise Joe Douglas better be interviewing all these guys that are projected to go in round one we have needs all over the place and we need more information but when asked about it Traylon Burks said hey I've met with a ton of teams right I've met with bunch you know loads of teams but he singled out the New York Jets and said that meeting went really well and he said he, f he would feel 100% comfortable playing in a big market. And then he also models his game after Debo Samuel. Who drafted Debo Samuel? The 49ers with Robert Sala and Mike LaFleur in the building. Okay, so I do feel like there's a lot of different crumbs and there's a lot of different dots that you can start connecting here. But man, the the combine, the disappointing combine numbers is like a huge curveball. And uh, it, it's interesting because now we're standing almost like calm before the storm. We're just waiting to see what the Jets next move is going to be. So I thought the report was pretty interesting. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I, I know I actually posted a video about Traylon Burks the other day. And um, you know, the, 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 I, the, the vibe, the feeling that I got from a lot of Jets fans out there was they really, really like Burks, but that was before the disappointing combine numbers. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Can't wait to check them out. And as always, thanks so much for watching and go Jets.